an atom gets impossible oxidation state higher than the group number, then it is a peroxide. So, if you have a fixed element, okay. In the absence of fixed oxidation state, give minus 2 to oxygen. If the other atom gets impossible oxidation, then it is a peroxide or it contains a peroxy bond. It contains a peroxy linkage. What is a peroxy linkage? OO single bond. Oxygen oxygen single bond. Now, let us look at some examples. PbO2, is it a peroxide or a superoxide or an oxide? Do you have a fixed element? That is elements of 1A, lithium, sodium, potassium? No. Do you have 2A, beryllium, magnesium, calcium? No. Do you have fluorine? No. So, in the absence of 1A, 2A and fluorine, they are not present. 1A, 2A, fluorine are not present here. Give minus 2 to oxygen, minus 4. Lead becomes plus 4 because the total should be 0. You know that as much. So, for lead, plus 4 is uh, not an impossible oxidation state. Lead belongs to 4th group, 4A, which is carbon, silicon, germanium, stannum, lead. So, lead belongs to group 4A. So, for lead, plus 4 is not impossible. Lead is not unhappy taking plus 4. Though it prefers to take plus 2, it doesn't say no to plus 4. Lead prefers plus 2, which is called inert pair effect. Lead prefers, but lead will not say no to plus 4 oxidation state. So, for lead, plus 4 is okay. This oxidation state is okay. Therefore, it is not a peroxide, it is an oxide. So, when oxygen says I want minus 2, lead says okay. Therefore, oxygen is minus 2. If lead objects that oxygen, please you don't take minus 2. If lead has any objection, then oxygen may change its mind. Initially, oxygen says I want minus 2. If the other element lead says okay, oxygen will remain minus 2. But if the other element says oxygen please change, then will oxygen change it changes to minus 1, becomes a peroxide. I will give you an example. Look at MnO2, MnO2. Oxygen says I want minus 2. We both want minus 4. Manganese for, mang for manganese, plus 4 is not impossible. Once again, manganese plus 4 is okay. Manganese belongs to 7A, 7, sorry, 7B. Scandium, titanium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, etc. Scandium belongs to 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B. Manganese belongs to 7th group of the periodic table, 7B. So, the highest oxidation state manganese can ever have is plus 7. Manganese easily takes plus 7. So, for manganese plus 4 is not an impossible one. Manganese is happy taking plus 4. Therefore, once again, this is an oxide, not a peroxide. So, what is the conclusion here? Maximum oxidation state is equal to group number for most of the elements. Maximum oxidation state is equal to group number. Of course, except the chief exception being copper. Copper belongs to 1B. Uh, according to this rule, it should have plus 1 only, but copper can afford plus 2 also. So, except copper, oxygen, fluorine, iron to some extent. They, are, they all can take as high as plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, but they do not take. That is the trouble. Oxygen plus 6, Fluorine plus 7, iron plus 8, they are permitted up to that, but they do not take that. So, maximum oxidation state is equal to group number and minimum oxidation state is equal to group number minus 8 for 4A to 7A only. The minimum oxidation state. So, sulfur, what are the minimum and maximum? Sulfur. I am just uh, only showing you like this. Sulfur belongs to 6A. So, the maximum will be plus 6, minimum minus 2. Maximum oxidation state is equal to? Maximum oxidation state is equal to group number. Minimum oxidation state is equal to group number minus 8. So, 6 minus 8 minus 2. How about chlorine? What are the maximum minimum? Chlorine belongs to 7th group, plus 7, minus 1. Nitrogen, 
ఫిఫ్త్ గ్రూప్ మ్యాక్సిమం ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ మినిమం మైనస్ త్రీ సో సెవెన్ వన్ ఎయిట్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్ టూ ఎయిట్ వీ కెన్ జనరలైజ్ లైక్ దట్ రైట్ సో మ్యాంగనీస్ ద మ్యాక్సిమం ఆక్సిడేషన్ స్టేట్ ఇస్ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ క్రోమియం క్రోమియం స్కాండియం టైటానియం వెనేడియం క్రోమియం బిలాంగ్స్ టు సిక్స్ బి సో ద మ్యాక్సిమం షుడ్ బి ప్లస్ సిక్స్ సో వాట్ అబౌట్ సిఆర్ ఓ ఫైవ్ క్రోమిక్ పెంటాక్సైడ్ వాట్ కెన్ వీ సే అబౌట్ క్రోమిక్ పెంటాక్సైడ్ క్రోమిక్ పెంటాక్సైడ్ క్రోమియం ఫైవ్ ఆక్సిజన్స్ ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ టూ మైనస్ టెన్ దే గెట్ మైనస్ టెన్ అండ్ క్రోమియం గెట్స్ ప్లస్ టెన్ is is plus 10 possible for chromium plus 10 is not possible for anybody let alone chromium the maximum ever shown by elements is plus 8 that is osmium osmium and osmium belong to eighth group and ruthenium they can exhibit plus 8 plus 8 and xenon also can exhibit plus 8 in oso4 osmium tetroxide plus 8 ruthenium tetroxide once again ruthenium is plus 8 xenon tetroxide so in all these three these three elements have plus 8 oxidation state the highest oxidation state ever exhibited by any element is plus 8 so is plus 10 possible for chromium that is out of question because plus 10 is not possible for anyone the highest ever is plus 8 so plus 10 is impossible for chromium therefore oxygen will gladly agree to change its oxidation state so this is a peroxide CrO5 is a peroxide how will you draw the structure in one other question we saw how to draw structures one chromium five oxygens surrounding them right and now we know it contains peroxy what is peroxy earlier i told you peroxy means oxygen oxygen single bond you have to draw one bond between oxygen so similarly you draw one more bond so what will what will this oxygen do it will form one bond with chromium one 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 and chromium can form six bonds so double bond oh. so why do you get this structure the so called butterfly structure it is called a butterfly structure why do you get this structure because it contains peroxy bonds how do we know it contains peroxy bonds here if each oxygen tries to form two bonds with chromium chromium will not be able to form 10 bonds maximum belonging to sixth group chromium at best can form six bonds therefore here oxygens are forced to form bonds between themselves between two oxygen atoms oh, oh, oh. therefore you end up with two peroxy bonds so CrO5 is a peroxide or is a molecule that contains oxygen oxygen single bond i repeat 100 times oxygen oxygen single bond is very 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 important now cro5 hclo4 does it contain a peroxy bond hclo4 okay give minus 2 to oxygen minus 8 hydrogen most of the time is plus 1 except when it is forming bonds with metals for example sodium hydride sodium plus 1 fixed hydrogen minus 1 how do you know h is minus here sodium hydride how do you know h is minus 1 and is plus 1 how can you say sodium fixed first group plus 1 therefore hydrogen is forced to take minus 1 sodium doesn't exhibit any other oxidation state therefore hydrogen is forced to take minus 1 so in hclo4 four oxygens put together minus 8 hydrogen is plus 1 chlorine is plus 7 and chlorine is not unhappy taking plus 7 chlorine belongs to seventh group plus 7 it can gladly take therefore this is okay so not a peroxide not a peroxy substance this is compound hclo4 per chloric acid per chloric acid doesn't contain peroxy bond look here H4P2O7 does it contain peroxy bond H4P2O7 pyrophosphoric acid pyrophosphoric acid in one question we discussed why it is called pyro it is a result of two acids H3PO4 plus H3PO4 losing one water molecule minus H2O 
H4P2O7 is the result of two phosphoric acids losing one water molecule uh, which is nothing but pyrophosphoric acid. Acid plus acid minus H2O. So, does it contain a peroxy bond? Pyrophosphoric acid. You try and find out. What is the rule? Give minus 2 to oxygen. Minus 14. Plus 4. Plus 10. Each phosphorus gets plus 5. And plus 5 is okay. Therefore, not a peroxy bond. What does this tick mark indicate? What does this tick mark? I am saying phosphorus agrees to take plus 5. When oxygen is ready to take plus 5, there is no need for oxygen to change its position. If it says minus 2, phosphorus agrees. Therefore, it doesn't contain a peroxy bond. So, when the central atom doesn't agree for the oxidation state it is getting because oxygen is minus 2, then only it is a peroxide. Let us look at H3PO5. The other day, we called it peroxyphosphoric acid. In one previous question, we called it peroxyphosphoric acid. How do you know it is peroxy? Give minus 2 to oxygen, minus 3. 5 into minus 2, minus 10, minus 10, plus 3. Phosphorus is getting plus 7. Now think about it. Is plus 7 possible for phosphorus? Phosphorus is a group 5 element, mind you. Maximum is plus 5. Here plus 5, okay. But plus 6, plus 7, they are not okay. Phosphorus says no. Then oxygen will have to change. So when will oxygen change? When the others disagree to oxygen's demands. Oxygen demands two electrons. Others say, sorry, we can't. In which case, oxygen will change. Oxygen is a flexible element. It takes whatever it gets. Suppose somebody says you take plus 1. Oxygen says, okay. Where is it? In a molecule called OF2, OF2, fluorine says, oxygen, I will take minus 1. You take plus 2. What does oxygen say? I told you oxygen is a very flexible element. Oxygen plus 2. Okay, sir. Okay. I have no objection. Here, fluorine is the leader. Fluorine is the boss of this molecule. Oxygen has to do whatever fluorine says. In fact, everyone has to do whatever fluorine says. He is the most electronegative element. And he leads any group. In a molecule called O2F2, O2F2, two fluorines minus two, two oxygens plus two. So each oxygen gets plus one. So look here, oxygen is taking plus one here, is taking plus two here. Sometimes it takes minus one, minus half. So oxygen, that's why I call oxygen a very flexible element. In oxides, it is minus two. In peroxides, it is minus one. In superoxide, it is minus half. And in the, here it is plus 1, here it is plus 2. So, oxygen is the most flexible among all elements. H3PO5. So, what about here? Oxygen minus 10, phosphorus plus 7, phosphorus says impossible. Therefore, it, it contains peroxy linkage. What is a peroxy linkage? Oxygen, oxygen, single bond. H2SO5. The, is it a peroxy molecule or not? Minus 10, plus 2, plus 8. How much is sulfur getting here? Minus 10 because 5 into minus 2. I have given minus 2 to oxygen. I have given minus 2 doesn't mean that oxygen will remain minus 2. It, 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 dep it depends on what others say. Here sulfur is getting plus 8. So sulfur uh, says oxygen I can't, uh, you can't be minus 2. Therefore this is peroxy. So when is it a peroxy substance? When do you call somebody a peroxy substance, you give minus 2 to oxygen. If the others say yes, then it is not a peroxy. If the others say no, 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 I won't take plus 7. Here phosphorus is saying, I don't take plus 7. Therefore, oxygen changes. Here phosphorus says, I am, I am okay with plus 5. Therefore, no point. Here sulfur says, plus 8, no, therefore peroxy. So, this is called peroxy sulfuric acid. Peroxy phosphoric acid. Now, that is all about oxidation states. How do you draw the structure of H2SO4? H2SO4. Basicity is equal to number of replaceable hydrogen.